My name is Megan Lidke. I'm the bar director for five different bars in the Twin Cities. I'm definitely, I think, a purist when it comes to cocktails a lot of the time. And the old fashioned is so popular, I think, just because it's so delicious and beautiful when you get it right, when it's balanced. I love this whiskey because all three components come together so well. It's so round and so creamy, like you get from those Irish whiskeys, but then to have that American rye incorporated as well, those nice floral notes, stone fruit, get some apple and pear, and it just works so nicely in cocktails and by itself. For this old fashioned, it's gonna be Keeper's Heart Whiskey. So I'm just gonna start with a couple dashes of Angostura bitters, super classic. Probably everybody has got this at home or have seen it on the shelf at a bar. All old fashions have a sugar component, so we're gonna utilize this house-made maple sumac syrup, and there's a little bit of clove in here as well. So I'm gonna do just kind of like an overflowing bar spoon of this, just kind of feeling it out. Not super, super precise. And then we're also gonna do about five milliliters of this coffee liqueur. And then we've got 50 mils or just about two ounces of the Keeper's Heart Whiskey. I like to stir in a tin because it is gonna be the way to get your cocktail the very coldest so that it can be. Got my old fashioned glass. I love a big old fashioned glass. So we're gonna utilize that double style there. And then I like to use a big cube. It's gonna have our drink dilute less quickly. We already got the perfect dilution when we were stirring. So we wanna be able to enjoy this cocktail over a longer period of time. Then to finish it off, we're gonna do just a spritz of an orange peel over the top for that beautiful aroma. And it really ties in all the flavors as well. And then we'll insert that into the cocktail. 